revved up as being challenged. Some hairy guys from Yorkshire reckon they've got dream machines that leave some pot hatches eating their dust. And they say they're thousands of pounds cheaper and heaps more fun. Heaps more fun! Meet at the Elvington airstrip, they said, and we'll show you our toys. Well, I've heard that before. Where are you? They've chickened out and left this. Challenge this is an Italjet 125 dragster. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I might get 60 out of it if I duck down. Out of two. What's that about? What's that? These guys aren't riding standard scoots, and this isn't a standard road. We're flying on an airstrip. Well, now I think I've seen everything. Maxed up, tuned up, scooters. Upgraded the engine completely, um, upgraded the transmission, um, changed the handlebars. How fast does it go, top speed? Uh, the top speed indicated on the uh, Sigma Speedo there is 96 miles per hour. How much <laughs> have you spent, tell us? Ooh, uh, dare I say, uh, probably around about the region of about six grand, I think. And that's on top of the two and a half grand he spent on the bike. Beats most cars off the mark without a problem. They're still thinking about setting off as you're the other side of the lights. These are the new, sort of like the new little young hooligan tools. Some of them will do not 60 around the six, six and a half seconds. Six so. and a half seconds on a scooter. Yeah. That's so funny. This scooter has uh, just been developed for drag racing. Performance is very good, um, especially off the line. I, um, I can beat like a high boost or a blade 60 foot. It's just a standard 180 dragster, and um, we've put some nice fancy paint work on there to attract people to have a look at it. We've put some nice chrome plating, gold plating on there, and. Um, Basically, just made it look really nice for people to look at. We've put it in shows and just attract people to look at these bikes, basically. It's still quite porky for what it is. The standard engine's still quite good, you know. You're talking still possibly 85, 90 mile an hour. This was originally started as a, a 1967 Lambretta SX200. Primarily, it's designed to race, but we do also sprint the bike over quarter miles. What uh, kind of time have you got for that, then? Last year, we managed to do two 12.7 quarters, terminally near 100 miles, 101 miles an hour. These guys think they're so tough with their maxed-up scooters. But I've got something that's going to leave them standing. The Renault Clio 172 Cup. That's 172 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds, and top speed of 130. And also 13 grand. Come on then, if you think you're hard enough. with Andy, but the racing Lambretta and Joe's dragster crossed the 400 metre line ahead of me. We'll be the laughing stock of Great Britain if we just leave it, that we were beaten by two scooters. So, I think I'll come back with my fiendishly cunning plan. Well, I told you I had something up my sleeve, and this is it. Honda's VFR 800 VTEC. Top speed around 158 miles an hour. 0 to 60, pretty damn quick. All right then, scooter boys, are you up for this? They were ready, but somehow we weren't. Our cameraman gets bashed on the head as the wind slams the tailgate shut on the camera car. So 
we start the race again. And I stall it. How embarrassing. OK, we start again and Joe beats me off the line. But not for long. Eat my dust, Scooter boys. Shut up.